Hi everyone. I wanted to show you how to properly thread your dressmaker 2402 machine. I was unable to find this on YouTube or per Google, so I wanted to kind of walk you through the steps. I'm a little amateur and I don't know all the proper terminology, so bear with me. Um, I will do my best to explain as I'm going along. So on the back, you're going to set your thread. So I'm going to walk you through what you would do first. Um, you want to make sure that you put the thread on where it's coming out this way. Um, you have a, a little hook here and here. Sorry. Then it's going to come down and around here, but you got to make sure to bring this all the way up. Then it goes through the lever here. And then there's a little hook down here, the, a hook beside the needle, and then the needle. So I'm going to set this down, and I apologize if I don't do this very well. So you get the first hook, then the second hook, okay. and you come down, and you're going to pull this, but you got to make sure it goes all the way up so that it goes over this little, little hook in there. This was a new machine for me, so I missed that step the first time. Then you go through your lever, and then you come down, and you get this little hook here. Then it wraps two times through this little side hook. And it's always best to snip off the end of your thread, um, and I'm going to turn on my light before you try to thread the needle so that it goes through easier. Oops, <laughs> I pulled it right back out, sorry. And of course, here we There you go. Sorry, I'm not very coordinated today. Then you make sure you put the thread through the bottom of your the little split in the lever right here and push it back. And that's it. You're ready to go. Um, I hope that helps because I know it helped me a great deal. I did not know that. Um, and then this here is where you would put the, um, the, the little casing. If you want to wind your bobbin, um, you put your bobbin on here and you loosen the inner knob right here. Just turn it separately. Guess have to... Like that. And then when you turn it on, this would spin versus your machine. Um, in order for you to wind your bobbin and then you just tighten it back up and it would sew like normal so I hope that helps